Wise Way Learning presents the The Project Management course from beginner to project manager. Part 1 will define how to become a project manager. Who are project managers and what do they do? As per Project Management Institute, the project managers are individuals who understand what projects have in common, and their strategic role in how organizations succeed, learn, and change. They are organized, passionate, and goal-oriented are a few terms used to describe a project manager. Who are project managers? Project managers are change agents, they make project goals their own and use their skills and expertise to inspire a sense of shared purpose within the project team. Project managers work well under pressure and are comfortable with change and complexity in dynamic environments. Project managers cultivate the people skills needed to develop trust and communication among all of a project's stakeholders. What does a project manager do? Project managers have a broad and flexible toolkit of techniques, resolving complex, interdependent activities into tasks and subtasks that are documented, monitored, and controlled. Responsibilities of a project manager include, defining the scope of a project as it relates to the overall business objectives and needs, planning and monitoring each task throughout a project to ensure each item is completed in a timely manner, managing the project resources including the team's time and hours, also communicating effectively on each status of the project to corresponding stakeholders, foreseeing and eliminating possible blockers, Documenting each step in the process using different project management tools available. Ensuring top quality and success of a project. What is a project management? Project management is the use of specific knowledge, skills, tools and techniques to deliver something of value to people. The development of software for an improved business process, the construction of a building, the relief effort after a natural disaster, the expansion of sales into a new geographic market, these are all examples of projects. This video defines in a very simply way from beginner that project management is the process of leading the work of a team to achieve all project goals within the given constraints. A project manager is a professional who organizes, plans, and executes projects while working within restraints like budgets and schedules. Welcome to the world of project management. So let's begin with an important question. What is a project? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? We constantly hear music bands, artists, sport team managers, politicians say, my project. I have a new project. The project about, etc. So is it just another buzzword used to make some activities sound more sophisticated? No, it's something much, much different. A project is something real, exciting and extremely useful for people that want to accomplish their future ideas. So let's get back to the main question. What is a project? The Project Management Institute defines it as a temporary endeavour undertaken to create a unique product, service or result. In other words, it's a temporary initiative that is agreed planned and executed to achieve a specific goal. Let's break this down with some terms. First we have time. This refers to a project being a temporary initiative. It is distinct from normal business operations in that it has a predetermined start and end date. Normal operations are characterized by the routine work in established companies. Think of the day-to-day -day activities which are not very different from one day to another. The accounting and finance department, product department, sales and marketing, etc. There is no end date assigned to these repeating activities. Projects, on the other hand, have a strict expiry date. Then there is the specific goal you wish to achieve with the project. You can think of it as the output of a project. This output can be a product, like construct a new office building, a service, like outsource a call center, or a result, such as improve an existing business process. The output, together with the work done to create it, is called project scope. The scope of each project is unique. There can be project outputs that are similar, building an exact same house but in a different place, for example. But the fact that the land and location are different is enough to change the project's scope. The architects and engineers will need to adapt their construction accordingly, changing the way the project work will be done. 
If the work and the output are the same, this will not be a project. The scope will not be unique and it will be a regular business process. The third key attribute is cost, which is the resources specifically dedicated to accomplishing the goal in mind. These three attributes form the project management triple constraint. Time, scope and cost are dependent on each other. After determining them at the start, if one of them changes, it will trigger a change in one or both of the others. For example, let's say that you need to pull the end date of your project forward. To do this, you will need to either increase your resources, input, by spending more, or produce fewer products, output, or perhaps even both. So this is the general shape of a project. Remember, a temporary initiative that is agreed, planned and executed to achieve a specific goal. And it's worth noting that projects are complex initiatives. Going to a new restaurant for dinner is also a temporary activity with a specific goal and limited budget, but it's not a project. It also needs to benefit the business through working in conjunction with a business strategy, which is what we will be discussing next. Thanks for watching.